for that recap that Shade keeps trying to bully out of me. Uh... I would never bully a single person in my life, Lord. How could oh, you thanks. say something? Oh, thanks. So you're telling me I don't count as a person. Thanks, Shay. Mm. I've never bullied you. I don't know what you're talking about. Show me the response. Don't listen to her. Everyone watching this video, you're proof she bullies me. I have bruises on my heart because she physically opens up my chest and punches me in the organ. You know, I want to get that looked at, bro. Yeah, I tried. sounds she like you have a ghost. Uh, anyway, uh, recap. <laughs> um... Samson and Emotions Gala hurt. sparred. <laughs> Samson dropped dead. Um, they actually, the, the group, the party actually attended to their children. And they exist. And, uh, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah. Uh, Samson, Samson didn't take his shirt off. Yeah. Yeah, Samson was not solicited in stripping down for the child. Name didn't ask him to strip, just take his shirt off. It's not like she said lose them pants. You asked him to strip from the waist up. Yes. Anyway. Last time I checked, removing your shirt is not stripping, and Nim also didn't throw him a 20, so he's fine. Yeah, so you didn't even pay the boy for the labor that he didn't do. I don't think we want him to start <laughs> listening people to take off their shirt. It'd be really funny! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. If I paid you, would you remove your shirt? Your shirt? Excuse me, sir. You're quite attractive, and I have a lot of money. Can I coerce you into taking off your clothes from the waist up? <laughs> How much to lose that shirt, my good sir? Your hair is long, and your abs are. Mm. Please, here, generous donation. Now, generously donate to me the visual of you without your clothes on. I feel like Eddie is oh, in the corner so, just curling uh, into a I ball. actually need to download that I turn back sign if I was you. We need that for my Sunday campaign. Anyway, and uh, I believe last we left off, uh, Eddie, help me out if you can remember, Samson was soliciting information from Zanzibar about martial weapons. Yes. We left off there, exactly, right? Yeah. And the day should be the fifth day and somewhere in the afternoon, yes? Um, I want to say afternoon closer to evening. Mm-hmm. I would say so. Can I actually just ask you to be like a chronicle? The timekeeper? Yeah, the Again? timekeeper. <laughs> like, like, officially just keep the time because it's proving to be really difficult for me to remember what day and what time of day. I, I got the you, homie. Keeper. I keep the time. Thank you. I, uh, you heard it here I first. am the lime keeper. I keep the lime. Uh, session mm. one. Uh, In session the one. Session twenty nine, part one. Official designation from the DM. The player behind Samson J Merrymaker is now responsible as timekeeper for Trials of Zanzibar. Uh, I don't have a gavel, so I'm just the gonna use this rock. Of Zanzibar. I hope that wasn't too loud. That only shattered my cortex. <laughs> Moving ah, on good. with your shattered cortex. Yeah. Shay over here with. Okay, moving on from your issues, I'm gonna talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see it. Speaking of not your problems. <laughs> Speaking of not about your problems, gummy bears! I actually do have gummy bears, but that's the side name. So. I guess. Goes away from me. The Samson. What about go Oh yeah, those hair, those sugar-free Haribos you ate that one Halloween. <laughs> I completely huh? forgot about that. D isn't that why you're saying keep those gummy bears away from me? Because one. No, I fucking love gummy bears. I'm also on a diet, and those things would ruin it for me. But wasn't there one year for Halloween you ate like? one of those small packets of Haribo sugar free and it wrecked you up so bad you were like dead for 48 hours. No. That's what happens to most people. You 
It's actually so bad that there's a warning sign whenever you buy those that these do cause intense diarrhea more than yeah. serving size. I got you. Yes, you do. Anyway, so I suppose where we come back, Samson is still soliciting martial knowledge from Zanzibar somewhere in the cabin. Yeah. What the hell is Nim doing? Uh. Kella's gonna, like, just gently nudge Nim to get her attention and point to the scratch mark she left in the table, and Mouth, can you fix that? Nim casts Mending and fixes it. The table is healed! Woo! Woo! It's all better. What's all better? The sand's just looking at you from across the table. Doesn't matter, it's all better. <laughs> I'm all better. What? what? I'm all better. She's all better. From what? From my deep-seated emotional scars. What? Yellow pots <laughs> name on the head. <laughs> She's all better. of Zanzibar, I have a question. Does Shay have a question, or Nim have a question? Nim has a question. Ah, okay, ask your question. Hold on a sec, uh, where's my thing in my notes? What does it say? Hey, Zanzibar. What? If someone were to ask you to take off your shirt unprompted, what would you do? This is not me asking you to take off your shirt. Uh, and he just like, I mean, does it matter? I, I'd probably just take off the top half of the rope and leave my belt on. <laughs> See, Zanzibar's compliant. <laughs> Given like a little knob, just like, yep. <laughs> Besides, it's not that hard to take off, and he literally just slips his arms out of the sleeves and just drops the top half of the robe around his waist. Well, yeah, this is eyes. what you got. <laughs> this is what you. This is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> does Does Zanzibar have any scars? Oh, uh, hold on, I gotta go to the uh, NPC pictures. Gotta remind everybody what a shirtless Zanzibar looks like. I, I, I definitely remember. <laughs> Gotta remind everybody what shirtless Zanzibar looks like. Zanzibar. Yeah. There you go, you can inspect that body for scars. There you go, have a side view, too. Get that side eye in there! You can answer the question. I'm blind. <laughs> Depending on how you hear that sentence. It's either, or you can, it's either, or you can answer the question, I'm blind, or, or you can answer the question, I'm blind. Just the idea that you look the at the one picture. Was right. Just the idea that 
you looked at the picture after saying the first part and then just immediately went blind. <laughs> but no, he has no scars that you can foresee. He's old! Look at that smarmy fucking grin. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am empowered by my body! There's nothing to hide! He's not actually saying this. I'm saying this to you saying he has got a smarmy grin. Cause something about those photos that I like is he literally just looks like he's standing there like, yeah! Take it in! Let's go! Do I need to eat a burger? <laughs> Fair. Every time he's at Zant, he is shoveling down food. If you haven't noticed. Yeah, he needs to eat something with higher fat content. Well, anytime Yala wants to donate to the cause. Eat more carbs, homie. Eat less carbs. Zant's just sitting in the chair, covering her head. But. Was there a point to this question, or were you just trying to get me to strip for some reason? I decidedly I said this is not to get you to strip. I don't think anyone is desiring that. Oh, why? There was a point. Yeah. Samson understands. Samson explains. <laughs> she, she's looking for validation because she asked me to take my shirt off, and I said no. Why did you say no? <laughs> Well, because immediately before it, we were talking about all the people we've dated and seen and liked, and it felt a little weird. And? Look it out for Rosebeard. <laughs> Does Yella say that? You don't know that. No, Yella doesn't even know that. <laughs> I'm saying that. <laughs> oh. As the gallery of peanuts. And? She's a young girl. Maybe she's looking at potential prospects. Be flattered. No, thank and you. I'm not here to be her prospect. Ah, I get it. You straighten the other way, don't you, boy? And he just slaps you on the shoulder instead of putting his robe back on. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you know, the other side of the field. Running the court. He likes the berries. Not the bananas, not the berries. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Sure. <laughs> At this point... Zan's just got her head on the table, and you just hear, you just hear. Poor Zan. Nim puts her through so much. How long? Just all your head. four of you put her through so much. Well, except Yala. Except for that one time. I just said he was shaking his head. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't see why you're all so uptight about this. Kel is just wondering why Zanzibar didn't already know that. What? Which way Samson swings? Yeah. Maybe that was just information he didn't feel like looking up. <laughs> Fair enough. Is there like a Zanzabing that shows up when he like reads <laughs> someone's mind? <laughs> More like ask Zanzibar. Pulls up it's uh, he pulls up tabs. Uh Dougal. Pulls up Dougal. that the only strange question you wanted to ask me today? Or, or do you have to come up with a few more? Shay! No, I'm like, gonna be like, Nim has questions, it's just which one do I want to ask? <laughs> Who, Nim? A uh, question? Mm -hmm. What? Hey, I'm here to encourage her. I am not here to discourage. Yes. 
Oh, Nim pulls out her uh, journal that she's painted very nicely and says, what do you think of my journal? Uh, you well, know, so the dictionary-sized book that he yes, gave her? Yes, yes, I completely remember, but describe how it looks, since I can't uh, see it. It is a nicely painted, flowery background with butterflies on it, and it has the Kiala's hash as a bookmark. Uh, are they actual flowers, or just, like, the concept of flowers? Actual flowers. Ah, I see you took inspiration from many of Glotnia's native plants and flora. The Miss Clovis Articulus. That's native to Zanzibar. And I see you decided to use a native bookmark of Felis Moralis. I think you mean Hellahash? Yeah, like, I need you to use the local words, thank you. <laughs> the layman terms. Yeah, like, dumb it down for me, please. Take me much. Okay, you science. should write that down, though. There's the name of the plant, and I will not remember it. Uh, can you type it out? Because I don't know. I can't spell that. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I don't know Latin. <laughs> I decided to not take that class. For good reason. <laughs> so many things at the bottom of the ocean floor. <laughs> what, you mean out in the bay? Or the yes. coast, rather? Oh, that's easy. I've sunk a lot of ships in my day. What a dick. There's a lot of bullets down there. That's probably because the last time I remember anybody getting close to that shore, it was a military convoy. They had a lot of ammunition. If I remember correctly, that means we can sell it back to them, right? I mean, I honestly doubt it. If anything, they'll probably just take them from you. Who are we going to sell it back to after we blow them all up? I mean, after all... Oh, we sell all, it to we... them before then, Jade. Bad. <laughs> I mean, don't you know how business works? <laughs> you sell something to someone and then kill them before they can ask for a refund. Okay, fine. It's marketing 101. <laughs> I never took that. These are, These are forensics! These are about bullets! This is forensics! Why don't you know this? This is actually a bit of It's ballistic 101 to sell bullets to someone and then kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, important question. Wait, well, hold on, before you do that. Wait a minute. So, you mean you actually pulled up some of those boxes? Potentially. I mean, it's not like they're going to explode. I don't remember them shooting any bullets that had the same capacity as the engines for the warships. The point being is that it would be a bit, pretty bad idea to sell them. Last I checked the legal laws, civilians any state are not allowed to have military grade hardware without permission. I.e., if you just walk up and say, hey, you want these back? Boo to boo! Yeehaw! You want brass and bullets from us? Most likely you're either going to end up in jail or they're just going to take them from you. Wouldn't those laws not apply while we're still on the island? They don't apply on the island, but. Do they apply near the island? <laughs> No, Zanzibar is lawless. I make the rules around here if I decide to make any. Yeah, so technically, if you say that, it's okay. It. I'm not the king of Abrindal. That's why I'm glad to be. <laughs> not yet. They <laughs> belong to the Abrindal estate. Hand me one of those boxes. I'm really curious which ammunition you pulled out. Here you go. There's uh, pristine ones and ones that need some uh, polishing. I'll give them the need polishing ones. It doesn't really matter 
which you have me just as long. Ah! Three inch rounds, judging by the engravings, they're plushets. Basically made to launch blades at people. Horrible little mm. things! They basically turn a body into soup. Huh. And then what do these things fire out of? Large barrel of guns. And then he kind of just stops for a second and looks over his shoulder towards Zan. But then again, maybe it's better if we do this some other time. You and he just have a good point. And he just hands the box back to you. Ah, uh, yes, let's traumatize the old lady before dinner. Fantastic. Samson's going to put that ammo in his bag of holding. And then you just, Samson, you just hear inside your head. Point being, you can clean those up. You could probably even get a gun board for them. But those things are basically meant to pulp anything you shoot at. They're one-shot killers, so to speak. But not I exactly give humane. you three, four boxes of those. I'm not saying that you'll actually put somebody down with a single one, but you'll heavily injure them, and the wounds that are inflicted afterwards will be debilitating, to say the least. See if you could have the magic. Oh, well, not like I was planning on using them on anyone, but you're saying it in your head. Never know right? what's gonna happen. Yeah. You never know, but once you get back to places where laws actually exist, you don't want to be caught with those. Hmm. Do I have a right to search my bag of holding? I think, well, when you get there, honestly, I think they're going to be more inclined to try and get the sword from you, so they're going to usher you in as fast as possible. They're going to most likely skip any kind of pat-downs and search-downs, since they're not expecting what we're plotting. Or us to be alive. Yes, it's basically a shot value combination. That's what I'm gambling on. But they're not going the to sh think normally because you shouldn't be alive, let alone you shouldn't succeed. But it's an opportunity they're not going to be able to pass up. You get me, kid? No, I get you. You got me, fam? Fair enough. Now I'm sure the little one has more questions. So, anyway! Yeah, more questions? Can you blow up the castle after we leave? Also, how am I supposed to give them a sword? It's in my arm, and I don't even know how to get it out. Oh, because we're going to usher you in. They're going to usher you in to see the king, because the king's going to want his hands on the sword. Then, basically, I'm going to show up, rip the sword out of you, and I'm going to play for a bit. I I'm sorry, rip? Well, yeah. It's not like drawing a sword. I'm just going to pull it out of your arm. It won't hurt too much or for too long. I hate several parts of the plant. Of course you do! But Only several? <laughs> of course you do! But, rest assured, it will work and you will be just fine. So grin and bear it. Man, if only Nim had snark. But, my question was, can you blow it up after we leave? So then, like... Most likely not. This entire plan hinges on functioning within a few seconds of time. Draw it out too long, and well, people are going to get wise. Shock value, dearie, shock value. It's all about showmanship. As he does a little razzle dazzle with his hands. I think I'll be in too much pain to care about showmanship, but that's just my personal opinion. So, how much of. Uh, like, it's like, this gonna clear out the whole building, structure and all? Well, that all depends on the king himself, but that's a fun little part later on. They also, really... should we have a decoy sword? So that way it looks like we actually brought something back? No. That's true, were they just gonna believe us that it's in Nim's arm the whole time? Are the yeah. actual military going to believe? Well, no. Actually, wait, they don't know. Yes, so I they guess don't. that part doesn't matter. You're going to tell them that it's in one of the bags of holding. That's going to make the most sense. <laughs> I 
out of character. I'm just imagining Samson's like, yeah, let me get you the sword. And then he pulls his hand out of the bag of holding and just finger circles the king. And that's when Zanzibar shows up. <laughs> Then I'll give a thumbs up. Shell is mentally flipping him off. <laughs> and he just narrows his eyes at y'all and is like, You do understand, I can see that, right? Of course. <laughs> Sorry, my mom came in. What did y'all do? <laughs> she flipped him off, but in her head. How does that work with a paw? You know. Same way it always works. I don't. You know, she just extends the middle claw and not the others. If I knew, then I wouldn't be asking. Well, I mean, she's got, she's got like, semi-humanoid hands? They're stubby and chubby, but they still have links. Yeah, like, the fingers are wider and more cat-ish, but she's got hands. And the nails are tractable. Yeah. Uh, let me show you guys the meme so you can be informed as well. Not that I particularly care, but why are you so again? You know what, that's a stupid question. You're just gonna give me some righteous idiocy about how I'm evil and you shouldn't like me. Never mind. Check d and general text. <laughs> yeah, that. Anyway, we're not on our normal quarter, so you can't be done with questions. <laughs> <laughs> you can't possibly be done with questions yet. You're a little genu generator of curiosity. It's one of my best traits. I don't disagree. Actually speaking is better than always sitting silent and doing nothing about anything. That sounds like a pointed attack at somebody, but I won't think about that. Does Nim say that? Yes. Oh, never! Me? Nah! Anyway, Samson, how's the weather? How's the weather? Um, it's been fun. Still sure. getting used to water. Sure, surely you've been at least to one of the like. Three oasises that are in Theresis? I mean, yeah, but they're not that big, and they're also not for uh, the women. Most people drink out of those. I mean, if you visit my house, I'll let you swim in my pool. What's a pool? The hell is a pool? <laughs> the fuck's a pool? <laughs> it, is, it is a large container, usually made out of stone or some other material that is waterproof water attentive that is either dug into the ground and filled with water or kept above ground and also filled with water. So you can swim in it for recreational purposes. Or so it's just purposes. a big pot? <laughs> or you can think of it as a private beach, which some people yeah. in Latvia do have unofficially made in their backyard. It's My home has It's a disgusting amount of well, obviously. <laughs> and then you just hear Zango. I can't complain. Jim ignores those comments. Sound like complaints of poor people to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, do you have a problem with poor people complaining? <laughs> <laughs> you looking no, for these you looking really... for these caps? No, this is cats. a really funny thing to say. <laughs> I am also poor. 
I wish Nim would have actually said that. No! Nim doesn't flaunt her wealth on purpose. Exactly, just say it accidentally. We're trying yep. to be snarky to Zandamar, like, that just sounds like a complaint of somebody without money. That sounds like someone who hasn't worked hard enough in their life. <gasps> Does she say that? No, that that's oh, that would have been fucking yes, sure. <laughs> funny. <laughs> no, I was I was quoting a because there's this like type of rich person who's like the reason poor people are poor because they don't have any drive or ambition and they don't work. <sighs> yeah, no, that's what I was quoting. Nim does not have those opinions. <laughs> Nim Shapiro, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Nim wouldn't be friends with Samson or Hyala if she had those opinions. Yeah, just look what happened to Prince. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But uh, side tangent. Almost, side. almost 20 sessions later and it's still funny. God, can you believe that? This is session 29, people. Wow. Next week's 30. Technically, this week is 30. That was the age of my second ex-wife. Technically, this week is 31. Oh, yeah, because... No. Where did you get 31? 32. What? Not sessions, but week. I don't see where you get that from. Because we've had... We've had two spin-offs. One that was one session long and one that was two sessions long. Oh, well, I don't really count those in the session count. As I well, I, the I know. Spin-off. That's what I'm saying. It's not It's not the session number. That's just ah, how many ah, weeks ah, it's ah, been. I got it. I got it. Anyway, Nim and her questions. I'm keeping time. Nim takes out the <laughs> large conch shell and goes, Is there anything that can be made out of this or used for? It's a musical instrument. It's one of the most common. Is, is he gonna listen more? No, he. After you said that, he, he just like stopped and stares at you. Oh. Like that was the answer. Oh. What do you want, child? <laughs> what kind of instrument? Is it a bongo drum? <laughs> Did she actually say the bongo drum part? No. God damn it. It's so hard to tell! Uh, you know, a, a percussive one. Blow into it, make sound. Oh, like a horn. Cool. Yeah. Percussive? Is that percussive? No, that's wind. Percussive is the things you hit. Yay, hitting things. Woo, violin. Well, then he said the right thing, and I just don't know anything outside string instruments. I think it'd just be a wind instrument. Yeah, it would be yeah. like a wind. See, it's confusing because there's wind instruments, and then there's literally a category of winds called brass instruments. Because those yeah. are wind instruments made of brass. Whoa. Yes, but why is there a separation between the two? I could tell brass you that after different. I asked my brother who played one of those, but he is in the Navy and probably I think it's because they're built different. And I'm only half memeing with that. <laughs> um, I also think it has something to do with the way it's played, because my brother actually complained about that. Side tangents aside. Tangents be happening, though. Nim pulls out her metal scrap. Make something with this, please. And then he just takes the scrap and looks at it and is like, Make what? Hmm. Can you make a dolphin? Do, do those exist here? Dolphin's a thing? I hope no. not. Damn it. <laughs> Thank God. What about a seal? If, or an otter? If there are normal animals, if there are normally named animals, they are not what you're thinking. That's Can you make of... a bird? There you go, that's better. Pretty bird? Can you Jerry? Name a, sure, name a species of bird. Jerry. 
<laughs> yeah, Jerry. The species. Then it's just like Jerry? Yeah, Jerry. No. Very glad about the curse mark. Otherwise, talking to you might actually be irritating. And he literally just heats up the metal, you know. Curse mark? Separate, separates the rust and, you know, the slag that's created. It makes a little metal patooey. Man, we could scare people with this. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize Nim handed the end of our something else. No, no, no. She handed him a piece of metal scrap. Okay. I thought she. I thought he still had the con. She was like, make something with this. I'm like... Yo, she didn't even <laughs> hand him the con. She just showed it. It was like, what this do? <laughs> what the con's doing? The con's making music. Yeah! Do you remember what that metal doodad was? If I didn't remember then, I genuinely didn't give it any more thought till now, so I'm gonna just go now. Okay. What the hell are doing? Uh, listening. What the Samson doing? Um. Also kind of listening, but also thinking about, like, what is he going to tell to Fren and, like, when they all meet and stuff? We didn't die! Hooray! Some of us didn't die! Woo! And then <laughs> <laughs> Zanzibar. Hey, Nim! You're kind of like the weird uncle that went off to college at some point and then never came back. And then when someone brings up the family, you know, yeah, where's Zanzibar went to? Then you pop back up. And everyone's like, oh, there you are. You know? What? Again, <laughs> if I didn't know the way you think, and if I did That's didn't, a compliment, by the way. And if I didn't have a window into your skull, I would probably think that was an insult, but thank you for the compliment. No problem. Here, have one in return. Despite everything in your environment pointing against you to ruin your life, you somehow managed to be an entertaining and functioning individual. I strive for something. <laughs> Wow, yes. don't don't be too specific here. <laughs> and, and yes, you do, little one. And one day, maybe you'll figure out what. Let's not get too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he just pulls out a chair at that point and sits down. Was there a chair there previously, or did he just summon one? No, there, there's chairs around Zan's table. I know, but specifically this one, I, I'm asking about. <laughs> because if I had magic, I would just summon a chair anywhere else. Yeah. Oh, you want him to just uh, summon an armchair of, like, bones or some shit everywhere he goes? <laughs> it doesn't have to be a bones. Just it can be of any so... design he wishes. Uh, and every time he needs a chair, he just says nah to every possible seating implement in the room and just summons a throne. Yeah, that'd be pretty metal. <laughs> I mean, he did do that once in the tower. See? Why doesn't he do it all? Because <laughs> it's Dan's house, and believe it or not, he actually does have some amount of courtesy and respect for her and her belongings. Oh, well, since I've been given the choice, I won't believe it. <laughs> Fair enough. So 
So what's the Samson doing? While Nim uh, thinks of more questions. Uh, Samson, again, is still thinking about what he was going to tell Superin. <laughs> Good thing it's all on you, man. Yeah. Entirely on you, because the only other person that connected with Superin is dead. Woo! Nim likes Superin. He gave her books. They connected on a nerd level. Yes, but him and Celeste were the ones that, you know, more connected with Supren. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. I think, I think everyone here connected with Supren to a degree. Yeah. Well, Gala talked to him very little. Nim got books Well, that's just Gala. No, yeah. Nim, Nim pestered him the me. entire, like, every morning. That was the first place she went. She went yeah. and got I feel like they talked at least a little. Oh, I mean, you thought wrong. Yeah, you thought <laughs> wrong. It didn't happen, nor was it expressly stated to have happened, therefore it didn't happen. Uh, Samson and Celeste actually sat with him and discussed with him. Also, jumped the gun and then had to apologize to him. And, well, Prim didn't so much as talk to him as he did simp for two weeks. <laughs> That's a connection. <laughs> I mean, that's a one-way connection. Yeah, Parasocial connect. relationship. <laughs> so yeah, while well, Zanzibar is sitting there waiting for what he definitely knows is going to be more questions from Nim, because he's finally adjusted to, if she sees me, I'm going to be asked a million questions. Might as well get it over with. So glad. And while he's what did you mean, curse mark? Well, technically, the mark I placed on all three of your foreheads is considered a curse mark. What does it do? Basically opens up your brains for anything I want to see. Well, that's, the main benefit right? for me. that's the main benefit for me, and the side benefit for us is that we can communicate individually, as he just makes like lines between himself and each of you. And at the same time, it lets me see a degree of what's going around whoever I'm looking at. So if you're about to get crushed by something and you're still useful to me, I can decide to just, you know, not let you die. And before you start whipping your tail around, yes, the decision, nine times out of ten, would be to not let you die. He says directly to Yala, knowing that she's probably about to judge him, or at least he expects it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I, mean, I feel like you can't be about to judge someone if you're already perpetually judging them. True. With that logic. Like, it doesn't stop happening. <laughs> True, you're right. But he knows it's perpetually Don't worry, say she'll run into Rosebeard and he'll be at the center of her general disgust. Her ire. Yeah. Everyone else that will have ire. fun with Rosebeard. Shallow will sit in the corner and brood. Oh god, Shallow's become prick! No. Brooding no. over the pirates! She has very specific reasons. Also, like, consistent. And they're personal reasons. reasons. They're not, you're a pirate, therefore you're bad. But true. It's, you caused me severe emotional trauma, and therefore are bad. Well, he brought up severe emotional trauma that already existed. Yes, which she had properly buried and wasn't <laughs> thinking about. I'm mad at you because you made me remember I have issues. Yes! Yes! I'm not disagreeing! <laughs> that is a great reason! Hey. Hey, Zanzibar, look at me. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> 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 uh. I wish she'd actually do that. would be very funny. <laughs> she can't. She'd get killed. You think she'd get killed. Yeah. But you're still useful to him, so... Exactly! He's not gonna kill you. But when he will, it'll be painful. I like the idea that you say the first part through your brain 
<laughs> he said the second part out loud, so all we do is just hear you call him Santa a bitch. Bar. Santa Bar. Santa Bar. What? Bitch. <laughs> no, she's like, they're, they're not even together, and she's like, hey, snap yourself over here. Santa Bar, snap yourself over here. He appears, she's just like, bitch. <laughs> and then Hella has a rare smirk. <laughs> That'd be... That'd be the greatest dynamic if that ever developed between the two of them. <laughs> that actually isn't too far off from what their relationship with Zan is. I feel like it goes both ways for mm -hmm. Zanzibar and Zan. Because I can I definitely also hear Zanzibar being like, Hey, hey, Grandma, look at me. Hey. Hey, Elderman, get over here! Zam! 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 Look! Zam! Oh, oh yeah? Oh yeah? Look at your food! Look! Oh, look! It's three feet in the air! Can't reach, can ya? Oh, look at you being so tiny! <laughs> you know I what like I was expecting? He's just lifting it with a finger that he's like wiggling up and down. Okay, no, but more importantly, the food floating in the air spells out, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he just oh, that's, makes the... that's powerful. Oh, oh, so that's what you think of me. He just spells out midget with the food. Oops. <laughs> Man. Zanzibar's a bully. Yes. Y wow. <laughs> a cute observation. I mean, he only bullies people that are outwardly aggressive towards him. <laughs> I, I mean, Kiel is pretty aggressive. Oh, you think? <laughs> well, yeah, but that's inwardly aggressive. Right there, I mean, no. it's... There really isn't an inwardly when he can read your mind. Yeah. Yeah, that right's been revoked. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm thinking about it, but the other way, where she says out loud, Hey, Zanzibar, look at me, and then in his head, in her head, calls him a bitch. <laughs> it's just as funny. <laughs> Anyway, what's the Nim asking, though? Do you have any books I can read on the ship? The pirate ship doesn't have any books. Uh, what books? I mean, I could dump my entire library on top of you, but, well, these two are gonna need pickaxes to get you out. I just need a few books. The point is, do you have a subject, child? No. I just need to be able to read them. I will get you a book on how to make socks if you are not more specific. She'll read it. Nim Wouldn't would! Wouldn't have taught uh, her that already? Nim, Nim, uh, yeah. But Nim thinks for a second. Thinks for a second. Do you have any books on... What's something helpful to read? I don't know. How to speak owl there? Any, like, combat manuals I could look up? Um, what millennia? Um... The current one? <laughs> uh... Actually, do you have anything from that, uh, old society you said that, uh, Phoresis used to be? Salaria? Uh, yeah, I think that was her name. Uh, not many. A lot of it was burned away. But I'm sure there's some history manual that might document what was. Just write it. <laughs> no! Things? Why? Why don't you say the good things? It's because it's Yella. She doesn't say things at all. Yella, Why? The player, Yella, the characterless character. <laughs> The I have a lot player. of things to say, but I will not say any of them. Yes, the group's very own NPC player character. I kid, I love you. I love I love Yala. Great character. Um So you want history books? And this 
this one's still deciding. No, I'm taking pictures because I found some books. But I don't want to say them in case copyright comes after me. <laughs> just gonna ask like, him to be the a real life Barnes and no Normal. Barnes and Normal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Barnold and Norman. Uh -huh, Barnold. So Nim says these things, but is like books like that, and any magic books. <laughs> you know, I can work with that. How about you think more questions? I get out of Zan's hair, and I bring you back the books in like. A half hour? Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I need time to get to the library. And an alchemy kit, please. <laughs> what do you want an alchemy kit for? I love her just adding things onto the list <laughs> that are completely yeah. unrelated to the list. <laughs> what do you need an alchemy yeah. kit for? You're rich! You don't need While you're at the library. There's no economy here. I can't buy one here. I didn't mean that! What do you need to transmute metals for? For fun. Why else? Shinies. Ah, yes, She can make course. her own shiny. She just wants to make precious metal, because why not? Why? Hey, Ray, the rich hurt sometimes. I don't know what you're talking about, Nim says with her 13 carat earrings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, but if, if you are, and you, if you don't mind, I'll... I'll I'm not really sure... What society would be like the best for combat manuals, but I'm sure you do. Well, yeah, I'll put a preservation seal on that first edition manual that I got from Saul. I'm sure that'd be fine. And no, sure. I'm not getting you an alchemy kit. Do you know how much it, how much time it takes to pack? All right, what about a herbalism kit? Uh, he just, he gets like a face on, snaps his fingers, and a clay pot just lands in front of you on the table. There you go! Get some dirt! And then he just snaps out of the room. What dirt should I get? <laughs> I love this child! The good kind. Does, does Yala know about dirt? <laughs> what? Is Yala an expert in dirt? Yeah, I mean, no, isn't all no. of your dirt, you... like, like... Cold? Yeah. I was going to say, like, <laughs> have mounds and mounds of, um, <laughs> snow on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dirt is that stuff that theoretically exists under the snow. You've it's never it's seen the it. snow shell. <laughs> How big is this pot that Nim has? Pot size. <gasps> I'm gonna type the next clay pot in my items. Exhausted. Yeah, that's far for the course. <laughs> we do it. We do tend to exhaust people. <laughs> people gain a level of exhaustion every time they spend one or more hours with us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Granny Zan is gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she would have already been dead, unless. <laughs> 
Stop that train of thought right now. Unless. Stop. It's been way more than six hours with Granny. <laughs> Granny Dan, have you ever had a pet? Huh? You ever had a pet? I can't particularly say I have. Never really had, had time for one. If you had a pet, what pet would you have? And she kind of just thinks for a second. Is it bad if I say a hydrask? Why a hydrask? Because no one would ever bother me or threaten anything of mine or anyone I care about if I had an apocalyptic scale monster as a pet. It's a fair point. I'm too old and feeble to keep anybody safe. You seem to smack a lot of people, just fine. <laughs> I think you're pretty nimble. Yeah, sure, I can make it hurt. And she just points at Samson. But if I actually was effective, he wouldn't be alive. I can't break- True. I can't break no one for nothing. Surely you wouldn't hit him hard enough to break him on purpose, would you? Child, even if I wanted to, I'm too old. I can barely get up and out of this chair. I can barely walk down the steps. I'm ancient! And she just like pulls her wrinkles taut. So my thought process for a good second was, do I want to be like, nah, you're still spry. And then I was reminded of that song, you're pretty fly for a white guy. And I was like, pretty spry for an old lady. <laughs> Nim has learned. Aging sucks. Again. So she apparently has. Yala still vibing? Yeah. Oh, wait, vibe. Does anyone have anything to do? I don't think so. Then time skip 30 minutes. Or 25. You all sit around in the cabin while Santa's basic chores. You kind of just are bored. Samson's tapping his fingers on the table. Nim's doing Nim things. And Hal is just staring into the infinite void, not saying a word or doing anything. We all know that Nim is filling the silence. Let's be honest. And then just scat Sam's bar is back, arms filled with books. Uh, Samson will get up and grab some from him. Nim does not because those those books look heavy. And you just Are they heavy? You, uh, they have weight. A not, resounding statement. They're not like overly heavy. But yeah, Samson will help him settle him down. Thank you, boy. And here's your book. And he hands you this very ancient looking tome that's barely bound and held together anymore. Smell the book. Smell the book. Eat the book. <laughs> Lick the book. <laughs> Samson's gonna do that thing of like, like the gif of that Asian kid trying to like pull the <laughs> words into his mind. <laughs> my favorite gif. That poor kid. Oh. Yeah, but he's actually—he's not actually doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so 
you take the book from him and you notice, despite its size, it feels much lighter than it should be. And it really doesn't have much of a temperature feeling to it. 